Yeah, it's not gonna get Kamiya that easy, man. Like, Kamiya just, like, dodging everything, man. <laughs>
相手の攻撃をかわすなりやり返すなりしてベースを踏んだら出塁逆にフィールドプレイヤーはランナーをねじ伏せてタッチすればワンアウトよこのベースを麻布交差点に置く一塁はシワデラテス二塁と三塁はミナトタワーとロポンギスーパーヒルズです正解いわばミナトシティ全域がフィールドみたいなものねなんだよ XB 法ができる前には敵をぶちのめすことしか考えないバカが腐るほどいて腐るほどおっちんだって話だぜルールにのっとりプレイするってことは私たちのプライドであり哲学なのそれが嫌ならやめたらいいソラシュン俺がお前を倒す時を楽しみに待っていろああもうご飯って寝るなまたコーヒー二日酔いかよあったり負けたらどうなるんですか敵の要求を飲むえ何でもですか負けたんならね Yo, XP law is actually pretty、um, extreme. I think that's the best way that they figured out a way to deal with everybody's issues and problems was to play this game so that if the loser would have to do whatever the winner wants, regardless. So. We shall never deny a guest even the most ridiculous request. <laughs> Thank you, thank you for that, Shun Kamiya. I was、uh, really hoping that they were going to be able to kind of demonstrate a visible type of way to show the rules because I was confused as hell by that like catcher pitcher thing that they were talking about. え君らは一塁に行かなくてもボールにかすったら一点でいいよそんなお情けはごめんだぜ俺は絶対にバッチリ一塁を踏んでみせるアンデよコースくらい知っとかないと勝負にならないの Yo the funniest thing is this guy's like coming off of a bad hangover right now <laughs> and I wanna see how he pitches it's probably crazy fast man Man, <laughs> that's like when he's 30% serious. Oh my god, that wasn't even 100%. Okay. This guy sucks at anticipating like the best type of like、uh, pitches and shit like that. Because I don't think, I think his strategy is like completely off, man. He's just a big old meathead, yo. Excuse me, Ed, but is this your. Good lord, man! <laughs> ah, hit the spot! <laughs> Yo, that was way closer than Tigus, to be honest. He almost got it there. He almost did. Close. He has gotten the timing down, though. Yo, I knew it. I knew Haru would be able to hit it for some reason. Yeah, <laughs> this man used to destroy people like crazy, man. He, he got called the destruction. Kami of the destroyer, man. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
What is this guy? Is he robotic? Is he a robot or is he using like a voice changer thing? And he's just a regular old human being cuz... Yeah, he's not gonna get Kamiya that easy, man. Like, Kamiya just like dodging everything, man. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, this guy has absolutely no idea how to strategize on this game, man. He's like a rookie, like Haru, man, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's a nice spread, yo. They got some good food over there. I swear, anime food always just looks so damn, like, good. That bat is so cool, man. Oh my god. I still remember the first episode when um he released it and the the energy started coming out of it, man. Like I think he sees something in Haru, man. The fact that Haru was able to like hit hit his uh his pitch, he probably was like interesting. Oh, I cannot wait until we see um, Shun's, um, what's it called, past or whatever. Because I'm pretty sure there's some like shit that happened with that, man. The way that when he said Destroyer, he was like, I don't want to be called that anymore. But he didn't want to make a big deal out of it. Huh? <laughs> But damn, I guess we're preparing for a a match coming up soon with these Bonkyo guys or whatever. Cause this guy like just been destroying everybody all on his own. I'm really interested to see who this guy is. He took down that though all those guys, man. He probably beat their heads with it with his with the their own bats and shit like that. <laughs> Cause they were all bloodied down there. Oh, I guess he doesn't seem to be ashamed about talking about his destroyer past. Interesting. But I wonder why he doesn't call himself that anymore. Oh, 
きな臭い噂がある。Oh, yeah, no. I, I guess if other baseball teams kind of challenge you and things like that, then、um, you kind of have to go into those battles or something. これがさっき更新された各トライブのデータだよこんな短時間で競合トライブが3つも同時に相手はどこ Oh, so those guys weren't the Bonkyo tribe. Those guys that they were, that guy was taking down was the Bonkyo tribe. That means that this is a whole different new tribe that they don't know about. Oh shit! Okay! Neo Tokyo is a royal family. Interesting. Hella interesting. <laughs> Yo, Kamiya knows who he is. I think he knows who he is. So, that was Tribe 9 episode 2, and I'm glad for that episode, honestly. It was, it, it, it was good. It gave us some much need,、um, I guess,、um, explanation on the rules and things like that. So, I kind of understand it a little bit more.、Um, definitely. Um, better that they showed us the explanation through a game rather than talking about it. Because sometimes when they do that in anime where they just kind of explain something, sometimes it may make sense, but half the time, sometimes I don't really get the explanations that they make. So I didn't really understand what the whole touching, fighting thing was with the, with the extreme baseball, but once they did it, I kind of understood what it was. So it was great to see that happen, honestly.、Um, Uh, yeah, good episode. I mean, the first half where, where they taught everybody how to, how to do things and stuff like that, it was really cool to see、um, the fact that Haru was able to, to hit、um, Shun's、uh, pitch and sh stuff like that while Taiga wasn't. Kind of showed a lot of、um, the, the difference in technique and things like that between them and the strengths that they have. And I think Shun kind of respected Haru a little bit because he let Haru hold his bat, I think, kind of get, getting him to have a feel for it. Kind of because I feel like maybe Haru is like a similar type of、uh, player that Shun could be, right? At the same time. I don't know if his first name is Shun or Kamiya, but I'm gonna just say Kamiya because I think it's Kamiya, so I'm gonna just call him Kamiya until they say another thing because I've only heard them say Kamiya. But, um,. Yeah, so then he, I think he kind of felt something in Haru, so it was definitely great to see that. Because he didn't let Taiga hold the bat, which kind of said something. So, yeah, it was good to see. And then we got to that mystery team with like the Neo Tokyo Royal Family crest and things like that. At first, I thought they were the Bonkyo team that they faced before, and the Minato tribe knew who they were. But it seems as though this is a new type of、um, team that just kind of jumped in. So, who knows what the hell is going to happen? I'm excited to see it because I did not expect us to get. The because the masked character was was an interesting one that we, I remember in the opening there was a couple of different tribes we kept seeing and things like that and the masked one was like the last tribe we saw so I, I assume that was gonna be like a match for later when when they get like well established a little bit and the other characters start getting used to the to the to the game more but it seems as though we're we're jumping right in and facing this guy right now so interesting you know even Kamiya was like yo I smell trouble so it's gonna be an interesting one honestly um. I mean, I'm excited to see what's gonna happen in episode 3. Who knows? It's gonna get exciting. I, I, all I know is that it's gonna definitely get extreme. That's for sure. <laughs> Anyway, I think I'll leave that off here. Thank you guys all for the support that you've been giving me. It's been greatly appreciated. You know, it keeps propelling me to keep pushing and doing more of these videos. And、um, yeah, and I will continue to keep doing it as long as I'm healthy, as long as I can. Until the day that I die. Hear that, guys? I'm working myself to the bone for you guys. <laughs> Not even close. But anyway, I will see you guys around. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.